Today, I'm back in Lewisburg. I made the trip up. I'm gonna do it all again today. I'm gonna do the consignment barn, Silver Moon, Roller Mills, Street of Shops. I'm gonna work in Lewisburg too. I'm starting towards the top because I kind of cut it short last time. Um, today is extra special too because my friend Jocelyn's gonna be joining us, or joining me, I should say, in a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna get right to it. I got cash, I'm ready to get those discounts and I am super stoked to get some Christmas items today. I still love this giant monkey. 38, yeah. Man, I really wish that was a little less. I would totally pick that up. And then we got a little Santa Claus here, $12 firm. I'm gonna leave that one going on with this head base over here. $20, that's a really good price. Um, I've had that one before. It's not the most popular, I find. Of course, first I noticed the pink opalescent hobnail. That is really pretty. Pink opalescent's my favorite. But then the head base here, what's going on? I'm not seeing a price, oh, there it is. $13. Well, I think I have to get that. That's a really good price. Uh, I left the head vase here last time and I kind of regretted it. These usually sell for about 34 in good condition for me. Oh, I gotta check out the price tag on this rubber face. $60. That's actually really fair. I mean, it's a really large size horn. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, there's my <laughs> there's my foot. It makes it look really my foot looks small. Man, he is spectacular. Wonder is there a discount? Sixty dollars, so they'll probably do ten percent. So it'd be fifty four. I could double my money on that probably because of its size. It looks like it's in relatively good condition too. That's a big one. I think that one is my toy. I'd have to look at the boot to figure it out. There should be a marking on it if it's my toy. Man, he's spectacular. All right, let me let me move on. I'm not really trying to front 50 something bucks for something like that right off the bat. I really like this Santa with the reindeer um, candy container. And this little boy with the bunny on the train is cute, but that's $18, that seems a little high. This is another good one, this ballerina with spaghetti trim. It's $14. I've been selling them for like $25 about. Um, I've had it a few times though recently, so I'm gonna pass. I'm trying to keep things switched up. I love all the pastel colors. Color coordination in the booth is one of my weaknesses. There's nothing really here that's calling my name, but it's so well displayed that it kind of lured me in anyway. Oh, this looks new, but it's so funny. Let's see. Yeah, definitely new. I like that though. A lot of Fire King mugs over here. Kind of like these striped ones. Are these Fire King? Yeah, those are kind of neat. I don't see those ones every day. I used to pick up Fire King mugs like crazy, but I've kind of slowed down because I feel like I might have overplayed them a little. Cute. This as is, dang. I've had a lot of variations of this guy recently. I think he's so funny. Cat, is it a cat? I feel like it's a dog. I really like this beaver. <laughs> I need to send a picture of this and send it to all my group chats immediately. This thing's hilarious. <laughs> Look at this funny thing on the toilet. <laughs> Five dollars. Unfortunately, it's got a little chip. Otherwise, I might pick that up because it's just weird enough. Wait, what's this? How did I not pick this up first? Oh, it's missing the bottom the stopper. What about this one? Dang, they both are kind of like that. It's kind of pink, I feel like it's, it was red at one point, but kind of like the cowboy boot. I've never seen this size. I feel like normally they're bigger. 
Oh, $210. I missed a digit there. That is incredible. I had one of those. I feel like mine was larger. I sent it to auction. I still love that candy machine. Um, back at this booth now. Last time I was here, there was a lot going on over here. Somebody was like building something. Gosh, that poodle pants are so good. I got really lucky here once. I love their clothes. They're really awesome clothing here. This is kind of a fun suitcase. Little pixie elf. I have like a floor lamp of one of these. I don't think these sell for that much. I've had them a few times. They always took a while. How cute are those? Little doll heads. Um, this house coat though. Oh, I wish this was a little bit bigger. I would totally wear that. <laughs> it looks like they still have a lot of their Halloween out. I'm trying to stick to Christmas for the holidays. And of course, Valentine's Day. I love all these old rainbow mugs. All right, well, I try to avoid cases, but I cannot help but notice those Holt Howard Mice salt and pepper shakers, and they're only $10. I'm gonna go ahead and get a key for those. So they're missing their noisemakers, but I'm gonna go ahead and get them anyway. And then the other thing I was noticing is this cute little chipmunk. He is adorable. We're gonna pick him up too. Well, just kidding. I just realized the chipmunk has a broken bow, but I did go ahead and pick up the Holt Howard mice. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh my gosh. Wait, this beaded Santa purse? <sighs> the cookie jar is fun, but the salt and pepper shakers are what caught my attention at $15 though. That's just about retail for those. Ah, look at this guy. Dang, $17.50. The sports ones I feel like are a little bit of a tougher sell. I feel like the last one I sold this size was $23. So after fees, that really doesn't leave that much room. So I'm gonna leave that one behind. Look at this funny little sugar dog. <laughs> oh, I think these dog dolls are dogs. <laughs> dolls are so fun. I love their faces. They do not sell for that much, which surprised me. Um, I also noticed this little Cupy shelf. He's got some broken feet. This one, that one's only $4. These usually sell pretty quick for me. I guess I'll go ahead and pick that up. I mean, I can't really complain with that price. What about the little one? A <laughs> dollar fifty. That's pretty cute. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one too. And then the celluloid one is. This Celluloid, yeah, hard plastic, 10 bucks. I'm gonna leave that. Um, these bisque ones are cute, but they're kind of hit or miss for me, and I've had them a bunch this year, so I'm gonna leave them behind. So this is a tough call for me. This planter is $25. I'm being kind of a cheapo. It's more than I'd like to spend. I could definitely make money off of it. Let me see if there's a discount don't see a discount so whereas it's a steal I think I'm gonna leave it behind I don't really want to spend that much um, I feel like this would probably sell for about 37 and then you have fees and such it's so great but I'm trying to be super thrifty. I'm gonna have a lot of stops I'm gonna make today and I'm sure everybody's stocked up for Christmas. I kind of like that vintage Pluto plush up there. I also can't help but notice this knotter. Now, normally I'm like strictly anti-sports because I have a really hard time selling it, but this guy's only $8 and he's in really good condition. I kind of feel like it might be weird not to pick him up. Yeah, he's in like perfect condition. Let me see how tricky would it be to, oh, nope, he's got a big nick out of his head. 
See, that's what happens with these. That's why I'm scared of shipping them. When they knock against, uh, it, it damages their head. And it's kind of sketch to stuff. I mean, I stuff tissue paper in it, but still, I just, I don't like sending those in the mail. Look at this bank. That's kind of fun with the faux fruit. Not sure how well that would sell though. It's kind of random. <laughs> this is kind of a neat glass set. MCM bar set. Hmm. All right, let's see what else we got here. I looked at that cat last time. Hmm. I don't see anything that really jumps out at me. Looks like a lot of newer. No, those are Japan. I'm mistaken. I was gonna say a couple of these things look like uh, newer versions of older items. Oh, I love this. Uh, Clown knee hugger, $18. That's definitely retail on that though. I see pink elephants. Now I normally just see this version in a bank. Why are they $2? There's gotta be a reason for this. It did say $2, right? I mean, they look $2 worthy to me. Got some crazing, but that seems to be about it. I am gonna go ahead and uh, pick these up. Pretty excited about that. Just got some residual dust. <laughs> so I spent $31 in there. I failed to pick up any Christmas. However, the day is young. I'm gonna go over to Lewisburg Antique Mall now. Uh, I'm gonna save the consignment barn and see if I have any time since I was just there. And uh, Jocelyn's gonna meet me at noon down the road. So let's keep it moving here. Mm -hmm. 